Citizens of the Reject Nation. We'll do a core style. Citizens of the Reject Nation. <laughs> Get that <laughs> foreground. We are here to do a movie reaction for a film when I was going through a list of Koi's movies he hasn't seen. And I was like, Koi, glad it's on your list because it's been on mine. We're going to do a movie reaction to Kung Fu Panda today, yeah. baby. And if this goes well, maybe we'll do the sequels. Who knows? It all depends on you guys. So you know what to do. You got to, you know, kapow that like button. Is that racist? Doesn't matter. This whole movie, maybe. Kapow! <laughs> that like button. Also, subscribe and click the notification bell if you want us to see the next Kung Fu Panda movie. Follow this man on the socials. Ain't that right, Koi Sun? At Koi Jandro, that might be racist. <laughs> <laughs> Onomatopoeia, acceptable. Koi Sun, eh, questionable. We're just making jokes, people. As always, full length reaction, watch along, three single with your own copy of Kung Fu Panda, available for our super sexy rejects. Cover a whole bunch of stuff exclusively over there. Speaking of our Patreon, most of our videos uh, feed through Vimeo over there. And uh, recently, we've got a crazy hefty bill from Vimeo for. Uh, uh, too much bandwidth. So with that in mind, today's video sponsor, fellow space cadets, it's time to blast off into the final frontier with the help of today's video sponsor, Star Trek Fleet Command, today's video sponsor. I've been playing this game for the last 90 minutes, so you bet your butt talks I am ready to talk about this game. This free-to-play open-world MMO game puts you in the captain's chair of your very own starbase on the front lines of a Star Trek universe, where you can construct fleets of your favorite ships and recruit legendary officers to your crew. Explore strange new worlds, seek out new life and civilizations, and dominate the galaxy with your powerful starships. With the ability to customize your fleet and set your sights on expanding your territory, eliminating rivals, exploiting resources, and exploring new frontiers, this game is the perfect way to unleash your inner Kirk, or Picard, or Data, or many of the other 100 characters you can populate your fleet with. Imagine commanding alongside your favorite officers and living out all your space exploration fantasies. It's enough to make a Ferengi grin from ear to ear. Ah, I pulled that one. So get beamed up, Reject Nation. Join the millions of players already exploring the galaxy, building their fleets, and competing in space battles. Click the link in the description box or scan the QR code right here on screen to download Star Trek Fleet Command today and boldly go where no one has gone before. I wanted to pun-centric it a little bit, you know? I hope this movie is as good as it's hyped up to be. Legend tells of a legendary warrior whose kung fu skills were the stuff of legend. <laughs> I think it will be. <laughs> I see you like to chew. <laughs> you should chew on my fist. And then he spoke. Enough talk. Let's fight. <laughs> Shut up, Uri. Cool. He was so deadly, in fact, that his enemies would go blind from overexposure to pure awesomeness. <laughs> and attractive. How can we repay you? There is no charge for awesomeness or attractiveness. That's what we say about us. Every day. Way to steal Earth bit, Jack Black. Whoa. This is like a Jindy Tartowski. No one told me how cool this looks. Oh my god. Even the most heroic heroes in all of China, the Furious Five, bowed in respect to this great master. We should hang out. <laughs> it's so pretty. And that's so. Get up. You'll be late for work. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's the animation I'm feeling. All right. I was like, does the whole movie look like this? I, I was <laughs> in. I was in it too. <laughs> I used to know how to do that. Used to do it without hands. Oh. Monkey, mantis, crane, viper, tigress. Uh, a pig and a bandit. Sorry, Dad. Sorry doesn't make the noodles. That cannot be his biological father. Will we address it? Probably not. I hope they do. <laughs> Adopted by geese. I was dreaming about, uh... Noodles. My son finally having the noodle dream. <laughs> <laughs> you are almost ready to be entrusted with a secret ingredient of my secret ingredient soup. <laughs> but dad, didn't you ever want to do something else? I thought about running away and learning how to make tofu. Oh, this is about chasing your dreams, Koi. Like us, being on YouTube. It's what yeah. we always wanted to do. Everything's Everything. been accomplished by us. <laughs> yeah. 
I dreamed of Vimeo, but it was expensive <laughs> for bandwidth. <laughs> They're real. They are real, yeah. Well done, students. It's like Splinter. Mantis. Master Shifu. What? It's Master Ugwe. He wants to see you. Master Ugwe, you summoned me. Is something wrong? Whoa. <laughs> I really like the teacher having weird little, like, after effect mutters like he always looks exasperated it's yeah, good animation yeah. detail why must something be wrong for Ooh. me to want to see my old friend so nothing's wrong well i didn't say that you think he's a villain moves awfully slowly i don't need a whisper we have microphones no, I, I was wondering, wondering why you whispered. Right i was like hello <laughs> i don't need to lean into you <laughs> i have had a vision i long will return Villain. That's the villain. <laughs> Seems like a bad guy. Yeah, that was the bad one. <laughs> we have to do something. We can't just let him march on the valley and take his revenge. Your mind is like this water, my friend. When it is agitated, it becomes difficult to see. But if you allow it to settle. Word. I always like that metaphor. The dragon scroll. Who is worthy to be trusted with the secret to limitless power to become the dragon warrior? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> to the Jade Palace! One of the five is gonna get the Dragon Scroll! We've been waiting a thousand years for this! Just take the bowl! <laughs> the whole valley will be there! And you'll sell noodles to all of them! <laughs> Man, it's tough when your father's a goose. Have to live in a shadow. Of a silly goose. <laughs> yeah, silly goose. <laughs> Very well done. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's like John Wick 4. Almost there. What? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> You're a fat panda. Whomever I choose will not only bring peace to the valley, but also to you. Let the tournament begin! I wonder if there are some riffs on, like, the Chinese Zodiac. Oh, that'd be interesting. Twelve animals? Oh, no! No, 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 wait! I'm coming! Let me in! It is my great honor to present to you the Furious Five. <laughs> oh, neat. The thousand tongues of fire. <gasps> oh, no, it really is John Wick. John Wick, that picture all the way. <laughs> A lot of pigs in this world. Wow, yeah. Q bunnies. Oh, this poor guy. Face iron arms and his blades of death. <laughs> Force. Master Ugwe will now choose the Dragon Warrior. Huh? <laughs> Does one of the Furious Five think they're about to be selected? I think so, because mm. he sensed it, and then who else would it be? A thousand years. Mm. I'm going to see the Dragon Warrior. You finally had the noodle dream. I lied. I don't dream about noodles, Dad. <gasps> I love kung fu. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Go through the hole. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> oh. It's a horror movie now. How interesting. Master, are, are you pointing at me? Him. This is not a woke movie, Tigress. <laughs> the universe has brought us the Dragon Warrior. What? 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 
I like how his dad just got in, the door opened. All right, <laughs> all that, all that hard work. <laughs> what? Stop, wait. <laughs> the voice of that little, was it a hamster or does that <laughs> sound so familiar? Weasel guy? <laughs> yeah. I'll say, what is he? <laughs> You were about to point at Tigress, and that thing fell in front of her. That was just an accident. There are no accidents. Is it a red panda? The little guy? Yeah. I don't know. A fox? The internet's like <laughs> yeah, feverishly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have failed you. No. If the panda has not quit by morning, then I will have failed you. He's going to try to force the panda to quit. I don't trust He's Splinter too. Sabotage <laughs> the panda. The destiny of a thousand years. I thought this was a family wholesome movie. Come on, that mysterious creature we can't name is sure duplicitous. <laughs> Double the guard. Extra precautions. Your prison may not be adequate. You doubt my prison security? Shifu does. Is that Ving Rhames? Yeah, sounds like it. One way in, one way out. 1,000 guards and one prisoner. <laughs> They're really building up this baddie. He's got Thanos-level turnaround moment coming. I think because he visits, he gets out. Mm. Fate. Or they find an empty cage. I'm just going to wait right here. <laughs> it's nothing to worry about. It's perfectly safe. Or Michael Clark Duncan? Oh, maybe. I'm going to tell Shifu he's got nothing to worry about. No, he doesn't. Can we please go now? Well, let's see those eyes. Come on, Hannibal Lecter cat. Oh, now he's got a tool. Oh, shit. Because he visited... I do appreciate all the kung fu tropes in here. Kung yeah. fu cinema tropes. Oh, the sacred hall of warriors. You look at this place. I think the darker animation and the like the exposure and contrast on them is very striking. The lighting's really cool. The sword of heroes. Said to be so sharp you can cut yourself just by looking. Ow! <laughs> the invisible trident of destiny! <laughs> <laughs> Well done. <laughs> Jack Black is perfect. I know. I think his voice work actually blends really well. Said to contain the souls of the entire Tenshu army. Have you finished sightseeing? Would you turn around? <laughs> hey, how's it going? Now, how do you get five? Oh, no! Oh. You moron! What have you done? Someone broke that, but I'm going to fix it. I'll, I'll, do you have some glue? <laughs> you will never be the dragon warrior until you have learned the secret of the dragon scroll. Who is this voice? I can't pinpoint it. It's the whisper. It's throwing me off. This flabby arms. Those are sensitive in the flabby parts. In this ridiculous belly. Hey. And Every time. <laughs> Listen, Ugwe said that I was the, the whooshy finger hold. <laughs> then you must know what happens when I flex my pinky. <gasps> no. Uh... The hardest part is cleaning up afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I love animation tropes of the littlest people being the most deadly. And the pinky line was perfect for <laughs> building his whole power. Yeah. yeah. Sweet diggity. I love that a praying mantis is one of the mighty warriors. <laughs> the way they zero in on the unique way the animals move is creative. Yeah, like a, you, you buy their physicality. Because they're actually using the anatomy of them. Yeah. Let's just start at zero, level zero. <laughs> there is no such thing as level zero. We use that for training children. <laughs> He's got a sinister way of talking. Just hit it. How's that? Oh. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Oh. <laughs> I thought he by the spikes. I thought he might have accidentally mastered it, but no. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh. No. Oh. How did I do? There is now a level zero. 
perfect voice. Discouraging. The joy Jack Black is having in the sound. He sounds like Dustin Hoffman, but does Dustin Hoffman do voiceover work? He sounds like evil Dustin Hoffman, like James <laughs> yeah. Wood or something. <laughs> Ed Harris? No, not Ed. I, I know one of them's Jackie Chan and one of them's Seth Rogen. I know that much. We definitely haven't heard Seth Rogen. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be the Mantis. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a long and rather disappointing day, so uh Oh David Cross. Yes. I was such a big fan. Oh. Outnumbered a thousand to one, but you didn't stop. And then you just <laughs> Oh stop breaking stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we got big things tomorrow. <laughs> All right. You're awesome. Last thing I'm gonna say. Okay. To be shunned by your heroes. Imagine if Keanu was a. You don't belong in the Jade Palace. You're a disgrace to Kung Fu, and if you have any respect for who we are, you will be gone by morning. Damn, that's a hot tiger. <laughs> <laughs> She's got that like goofy movie girl thing. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm married. I mean, could have touched the tiger. <laughs> that's the first problem with <laughs> <I didn't>. it. <laughs> You eat when you are upset. How's that? Mood. <laughs> Been there. I mean, I'm not like the five. <sighs> Maybe I should just quit and go back to making noodles. Quit. Don't quit. Noodles. Don't noodles. I love this freaking turtle. He's the best <laughs> at his little shakes. Yeah. There's a saying. Yesterday is history. Three. Tomorrow's a mystery. Is a mystery. But today is gift that is why it is called the present the present he wrote the turtles dialogue is that from this movie no uh, it can't i guess from, from like the 1800s <laughs> <laughs> invented in 05 how deep is kung fu pair <laughs> <laughs> it changed society oh, no <sighs> that one feather that's all it took. Oh no! What's happening? Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, Lord of the Rings. Mobilize the thousand rhinos! <laughs> Man, you guys suck at hitting an idle object. Oh my Ooh, god. Oh, <laughs> you're helping him out. You've weaponized the leopard. I know. <laughs> ah, cleared a path. Ah, uh, clever. So Batman should have done Dark Knight Rises. Neat. Whoa! Ah, that, that was, was cool. gorgeous. That was awesome. <laughs> All right, he's threatening. I'm worried. Damn, he's good. <laughs> it's like comic book panels. The choreography is so cool. Wow. They have to destroy this whole place just to take him down. It's the Belrog. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. Who Good shot this? It's sound design. stunning. Yeah. No rhinos were harmed in the making of this movie. <laughs> Peter, they were ready. <laughs> what if he's Jackie Chan? <laughs> yeah, great. His talents are underrated then. Fly back there and tell them the real dragon warrior is coming home. Oh, shit. That's Ian Machang. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Great transition. They got a great handle on the action. It's stunning. <laughs> he's quit. Oh, he's already training. You're not a real master if you're... This is your attitude, man. Yeah. It's going to make him better, too. What are you doing here? I thought I'd warm up a little. You're stuck. Stuck? Not nah, what? Stuck. <laughs> One, two. Great attention to detail. It's a flap. I love it. 
It takes years to develop one's flexibility, and years longer to apply it in combat. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, brother. I thought you said you were ready. That was awesome. Let's go again. That unflappable like optimism. <laughs> Balance. He has flappable optimism. <laughs> Step forth. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Your opponent's weakness and make him suffer for it. Oh, yeah. To take his strength and use it against him. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Don't worry, Master. I will never quit. He's not gonna quit, is he? He's not gonna quit bouncing, tell you that. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Who am I to judge a warrior based on his size? I mean, look at me. I'm over here. Sammo Hung. You know who Sammo Hung is? Huge guy. Oh. There was once a time when Master Shifu actually used to smile. No. Before Tai Lung. The first ever to master the thousand scrolls of Kung Fu. Oh my god, Tai Lung's like Darth Vader. Oh, he was the chosen one. <laughs> yeah. He's Obi-Wan. Robe and all. <laughs> and he raised him as his son. I would get rid of that kid right that's, away. That's it. And when the boy showed talent in Kung Fu, Shifu trained him. Oh, he made him the murderer he is today. He wanted the Dragon Scroll, but Ugwe saw darkness in his heart Later. and refused. Outraged, Tai Long laid waste to the valley. I see outrage in your heart. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm going to slaughter everyone because of this Show you subjection. how not angry I am. <laughs> Oh, five point palm technique. Turtle style. Shifu loved Tai Lung like he had never loved anyone before. Oh, she can never get his approval. Oh. Or sense. Oh, that's why she's such a pain in the ass. It's for hope. It's for love. And he's stuck with you. A big, fat panda who treats it like a joke. <laughs> Oh, that is it. Wait, my fault. I accidentally tweaked his facial nerve. <laughs> that was such a good bit. <laughs> Slightly predictable landed though. Zang, I could use some good news right now. <laughs> the panda will never fulfill his destiny, nor you yours, until you let go of the illusion of control. You can learn something from this movie, boy. Nope. I want to do things my way. <laughs> I am perfect. <laughs> you just need to believe. Promise me, Shifu. Oh, he's going to die. I will try. Mm, good. No. I think they kill the turtles so then he has to prove and believe and he becomes master. See, so, yeah, it's happening. It's happening. Well, it's happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> As we speak! <laughs> oh no! He's getting force ghosted! You can't leave me! Bro! <laughs> when we needed him most! Cherry Blossom's real pretty though. Aw, uh, returning to energy. Man, so that was my favorite pretty. character! He was great. The turtle tortoise? Either one. Both great. Hope you like it. Wow, you're a really good cook. I wish my mouth was bigger. Tigress, you've got to try this. That's Jackie Chan, okay. <laughs> Master Shifu. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never be the dragon warrior. <laughs> Maybe someday you will have ears like mine. <laughs> That's good. Oh, uh, ears. Oh. It's Shifu. Of course it's Shifu. What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> Tai Lung has escaped from prison, and you're acting like children. M M Master Hugwe will stop him. Not anymore. Let us stop Tai Lung. This is what you've trained us for. No. You're not even going to talk about the dead turtle. 
<laughs> Hope you didn't love him. <laughs> you know I was trying to get rid of you, yet you stayed. Yeah, every time you threw a brick at my head, it hurt. But it could never hurt more than it did every day of my life just being me. Oh, that's really sad. Because I thought if anyone could change me, could make me not me, it was you, the greatest kung fu teacher in all of China. Wow. <laughs> How are you going to change this into the Dragon Warrior? You don't look confident. How? I don't know. Must be like one of those activation switches within him. Yeah, you like learn one thing and then power. <laughs> no, it was, no it was like the, yeah, awaken something in him kind of thing. I like that shift in conflict. That's really interesting. It's how they both want the same thing with just dialogue. This is what you trained me for. Oh, she's just going to oh, go out there on her own. Solo? Tigress! Good team. Guys. Stop her. We're not trying to stop you. What? We're coming with you. No, you're all going to die. Great music. Yeah, Transitions she, are so cool too. She got nipple chills. My nipples got hardcore. I mean, that happens. The great music. You gotta feel it. But the music is also backed by some great scene work there. That's gonna mm, really generate the brings out the extra sweat. <laughs> 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 He's motivated by food. Oh, the peach tree, <laughs> the <Yeah>. wisdom. <laughs> they thought was his biggest weakness. It's his strength. <laughs> yeah. This movie's not fat shaming. It's fat emboldening. Fat strengthening. I just thought you might be monkey. He hides his almond cookies on the top shelf. <laughs> it's kind of like the, the perfect it's swing. It's absolutely like perfect. perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Genius. <laughs> Don't tell monkey. Look at you. Yeah, Where? I know. I disgust you. <laughs> <laughs> and yet you are ten feet off the ground and have done a perfect split. This is just a accident. <laughs> there are no accidents. You're damn right. He believes. Yeah, I feel like you get cramps all the time, though, if you have to be using Bed food. Like that. <laughs> yeah. 20 minutes after you swim? Come on. <laughs> yeah, I can't just eat and fight someone. This is the birthplace of Kung Fu. <gasps> I see it. Do you want to learn Kung Fu? Yeah. Then I am your master. Okay. <laughs> Don't cry. I thought Jack Black would be way more over the top with his voice. It's so it's perfect. It's actually like more sincere than I expected. <laughs> awesome. Bow reflexes. This, this actually harkens back to a lot of like old kung fu movies I've seen. The montage or the specific moves? <laughs> The way the montage is going and the placement of like using food as a motif. Oh, I like that. It's a Jackie Chan movie called Fearless Hyena. <laughs> I love a good improvement montage. Look at him go. Look at him go. Muscle memory. Learning. <gasps> He's becoming the cool animation. Yeah. I vowed to train you, and you have been trained. You are free to eat. Hey! You are free to eat. Am I? Are you? <laughs> free yourself. Yes, yes, is what I was hoping they do. I love it. Awesome. Oh, 
Oh, come on, you can beat him. Look how happy he's becoming. Love this montage. Yeah, he smiled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hungry. That type scene I've seen. That's definitely like Jackie Chan, like Copland and yeah, Rumble in the Bronx era. Cut it. Oh, you take him on one on one. Where's the dragon warrior? Oh. So that is his name. Love how they gave Jackie Chan barely any lines. <laughs> <laughs> the occasional <laughs> interjection. How creative. So cool, dynamic 3D. Oh, wow. So smart. Crane, where are you? Oh, monkey! Go! He's a prank mantis! <laughs> there you go. This guy's ferocious. Now. Cool! That teamwork. Yeah. That was sick. Well, they've slowed him down. Which is nice. The team dynamic was so cool there. Yeah. They did not slow him down at all. Nope. Gifu Five minutes. Told you well. Oh no! But he didn't teach you everything. Did he just murder the did he just murk the whole team? Are they done now? Uh oh. They're frozen. They're paralyzed. He could have killed me. Why didn't he? So you could come back here and strike fear into our hearts, but it won't work. Uh, it might. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just one me. But you will have the one thing that no one else does. Dumplings. Endless dumplings. Oh, getting the scroll. <gasps> Summon Shenzu. Oh, that's oh, I love that. That's fantastic. A single cherry blossom. You will feel the universe in motion <laughs> around you. Wow! Can I punch through walls? Can I visit Focus. Billy? Focus. Huh? Focus. He's like Miss Marvel. Yeah! Ernest Kamala Khan energy. It's blank. What? Here, look. No. Put it on I fire. I to look upon. <laughs> <laughs> Evacuate the valley. What about you, master? I will fight him. What? I can hold him off long enough for everyone to escape. Defeat me, Doth. I'm very proud to have been your master. Don't sell yourself on that you've died and you're gonna die. You can't go in thinking I'm going to die. It's gonna become a force ghost. Oh! Hey, good to have you back, son. I think this goose made it with a panda. <laughs> Just put the apron on him, no word. <laughs> Time to face it. The future of noodles is nice cut vegetables. Classic structure, man. Where do you think the character's gonna go back to their where they were at the beginning? But no, they don't. They can't. They've evolved. They've changed. Even if the world hasn't. Sometimes I can't believe I'm actually your son. Paul, I think it's time I told you something I should have told you a long time ago. He doesn't realize he's adopted. He's a panned. The secret ingredient of my secret ingredient <laughs> soup. Playing with us. There's no secret ingredient. Nothing. He, he made it. That is what's on the scroll. I was right. <laughs> to make something special, you just have to believe it's special. So the MCU's nothing? <laughs> <laughs> Depends who you ask which corner of the internet. <laughs> uh, uh, you're, you're the special you're The special. reflection. Special sauce. Uh, 
Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it's essentially your dad you're punching. In the face. You knew I was the dragon warrior. But when Ugwe said otherwise, what did you do? Shrugged your shoulders. Nothing. You were not meant to be the dragon warrior. Who drove me to train until my bones cracked? Who denied me my destiny? I like the dream dream parallel with the dads. Follow yeah. the dreams, not dreams. Oh, that Great. was awesome. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. Give me the scroll. I would rather die. Poe, where are you? Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Tell me how proud you are, Shifu. Tell me. Tell me. Kamea made him. I like how there's a sense of improvisation to the fighting. Yeah. <laughs> but still style. Like, they're very unique. I have always been proud of you. And it was my pride that blinded me. I loved you too much to see what you were becoming. You could learn a lot from this movie, Cole. From, from him? From him yeah. from loving something too much? <laughs> Can't see it. It's probably let him see the message. <laughs> Forest trees? <laughs> Where is it? Oh, you will never see that scroll. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I am the dragon warrior. And him? He's a panda. You're a panda. <laughs> <laughs> He's a panda. Delivery. You're a panda. <laughs> you want it? Come get it. Oh! <laughs> Finally. There you go. <laughs> Trust your instincts. <laughs> Everyone. Wow. Oh. It's like Drunken Warrior to an 11. Exactly. I was thinking like Drunken Masters kind of fighting. Just out. the free flow chaos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. Everything he's learned. <laughs> God, the camera work. It's so gorgeous. How old is this movie? Doesn't I mean, yeah, it feel like it's come out like recently. There's three of them. The power of the dragon scroll is mine. <sighs> It's nothing. There is no secret ingredient. It's just you. <laughs> that was uncalled Oh, he's too big. He's too he's big. Too big. <laughs> the anatomy. Don't. 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 <laughs> 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 Very drug and mass. <laughs> Great. And the joy is why you have to have Jack Black. <laughs> it worked. Sumo. He's dead. <laughs> Yo, 
You're just a big, fat panda. I'm not a big, fat panda. Big. I'm the big, fat panda. Yes! <laughs> You're bluffing. Shifu didn't teach you that. Nope. I figured it out. <laughs> Skidoosh! <Skidoo>. Whoa! <laughs> They like Jack Black say skadoosh. That I think is from this. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Unlike the other 1800s. <laughs> <laughs> He's a noodle man. Froth runs in his blood. You saved the pigs and the bunnies. They did you it. You saved the pigs and the bunnies. <laughs> this town is holy for the pigs and bunnies. <laughs> and geese. Yeah. The occasional goose. <laughs> Biologically, there are no other pandas in this town. <laughs> Master. Oh, that's hitting. <laughs> Lord still has like the shittiest stamina. It's no cardio. <laughs> oh, you're alive. Or we're both dead. <laughs> <laughs> I defeated Tai Lung. You did? Wow. <laughs> He's still surprised. <laughs> wow. You have brought peace to this valley and to me. Thank you. You can't die, too. Everybody can't die. We need their sequels. Thank you. Oh, what? Is he really going to die, too? There are no masters. No, no, no! Don't die, Shifu, please! I'm not dying, you idiot. <laughs> Dragon warrior, <laughs> I am simply at peace. <laughs> Inner peace. Oh, so um, I should stop talking. If you can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's cute. Oh, the dragon reflected in the water. Too. Oh, I love that. You want to get something to eat? <sighs> yeah. Hiya! That was so good. All right, see who everyone is. It is it Dustin was. Hoffman. Good okay. Call. <laughs> Did not hear it. Oh. oh yes, yes, yes! I remember that now. She has a warrior voice. There it is. Very obvious. <laughs> Donkey Kong. Which I haven't seen yet. Lucy Liu. Ah. Jackie Chan, Herbert, Shanghai Nights. David Cross. Very recognizable voice. Randall Duck Kim. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. James, James Hong. Hong. That one was driving me nuts. Dan Fogler and it Michael was, Clark Duncan. It was Michael Clark Duncan, okay. 17 line Jackie Chan. They barely gave him any lines. Jackie Chan watching for Jackie Chan. Like, <laughs> the year of the monkey needed the respect. I mean, it's the. It's Jackie Chan. So much inspiration, I'm sure, came from some like. I know Jackie Chan didn't really do too much like kung fu fantasy. Right, but they, like the basis of a lot of it. But there's a lot of, yeah. Hans Zimmer music owner is so and good. And it was Super Cop, not Copland, but I was driving me crazy this whole time. Super Cop is the movies I love. Yeah, the music was stunning. I wonder who shot it. <laughs> like cinematography by. I feel like there was a time when they wouldn't credit the cinematographer in animated movies. Because, uh, what's his name? Deacons did. The art director. Maybe art director? Because yeah. Deacons did Rango, and that was before this. That was different. They did a lot of mocap for that. Oh, that's true. But the I frames are they, all very Deacons. No, there is there is like cinematography involved in it. And I feel like there was a time where they wouldn't make that explicitly clear in animation. Got it. Because it, it was so visual. Yeah, you got to, like, direct this shit still. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, you built it, yeah. and then... <laughs> Man, that was a pretty film. Thanks to all these folks. <laughs> this song didn't make the Billboard Top 100 like Mario's did. Jack Black's a tracking artist now. It's amazing. Oh, is this Jack Black singing the cover? Yeah. Oh, it is, yeah. I hear it now. Because he did that song Peaches and he made the billboard charts. <laughs> well, that's Mario. You'll know when you see Mario. 
Dan Fogler, man, doing it for a while. When was this? Let me see when, if there's a post credit scene. Kung. Kyle Gass. Good. I'm glad he got in here. Fu Panda. Wayne Knight was the gang boss. Post credit scene? I feel like there has to be. There is an after credit okay. scene. Okay. Right. We will wait it out. That way the... And we'll, know, t- we'll talk in the meantime. We're going to talk anyway. Uh, so, I loved it. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> Opinion? <laughs> I, I personally feel I was a little worried at first. Well, not the very beginning. In the very beginning, I was like, this is gobsmackingly gorgeous. And then there was like a 10-minute window where I was like, is this for me? And then it immediately was, and it stayed for me. So, uh, late yeah. first act, uh, a little bit of a, a pacing issue, but then I was, I was struck from two and three. Yeah, eventually broaches past like this is just a kids movie. Yeah, it got through that we got to build it. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, they yeah. did that. We have to make the kid movie like set up, and then they got let us play. Yeah, because while like there's some funny moments in here, I mean, there's a lot of jokes that are very much obviously intentionally aimed at like children and to be family friendly, uh, as it ought to be. You know, like this. Sometimes I feel like there's like certain animated movies where the comedy is just like so clever, yeah, so good, and this doesn't quite Rango. go there for me, but. The comedy is not the real star of this movie. The star of this movie is the animation, the action scenes, and there was like just enough funny moments for me to keep me engaged. But the movie is also wears his heart and his sleeve the whole time. Like there is so much heart with its characters. I smiled throughout. It had more Ted Lasso than a comedy for me. It was just like warm. Yeah. There was a lot of just like joy and cel- it was a celebration of joy. Jack Black was celebrating joy. Yeah. The victor was the one that like fought with joy. Yeah, and I was surprised. I really was surprised by how. They got all these celebrity performers in here, and a lot of the times when you hear celebrity performers, it's I'm more stiff. Uh, they're stiff, and I'm more aware of who the celebrity is. Agreed. But their voices really did match well for these animals that they're playing, especially Jack Black. Like he was perfect for it. And I thought, I thought Jack Black might just go in with being a little like too over the top. Yeah. And, like really, just like I'm gonna go crazy here with my voice work. Um, but he but did it was it. like a voice actor. It was like, like he a did real performance. Really <laughs> great work. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. The physicality of the animal mixed with their fighting style and their voice. I think that's why this movie is so unique. Is yeah. those dynamics don't always land all three. Mm-hmm. Like the casting was both physical and emotional, and it was the visual of the animal. And I feel like it, it put you in a universe in a really unique way. Well, I really thought they util- they they easily could have just done kung fu fight scenes or or just you know good. Kicks and punches and flips. Sure. But they really thought about how does like a snake move? How does a tiger yeah. move? How does how do they latch on to things? How does a monkey move? And they they and the, the animation's so like kinetic throughout, uh, yet it was still dazzling. And they would constantly use that within their choreography. Yeah. Of how specifically these animals would move and and enhance that height in it. And I thought that was like one of the smartest choices they could have used. Similar to how I would say about like the Incredibles of like only animation could pull off this with superhero powers. They managed to do this. It's like, well, we have animals, so let's really lean into how these animals would maneuver around. And, and the then teamwork. Some, yeah. Uh, like, like in the, the teamwork, teamwork, I kept thinking X Men, like how they would fight with their strengths in coordination because they've trained for twenty years. Yeah, and then like especially that bridge sequence, I love the bridge. That might be my favorite scene in the film is the bridge sequence where they're using the animation medium in a really unique way, mixed with the animals, mixed with like what we've learned about their fighting style, and then the Z axis is just bananas. Like, yeah, it's doing so much. And I thought it was also a clever play on the whole chosen one motif of how. That's kind of just BS. <laughs> right. Yeah, that it's really just about belief in yourself. That oh, and te- the chosen one stuff tends to come down to that, but there still is a chosen one quality to it. And this one, literally a mirror. Yeah, this one was like your parents aren't important, Ray. Right. You know? <laughs> you know? Thank you, Ryan Johnson. Did <laughs> this make the is a best Ryan modern Johnson Star Kung Wars Fu film. Here. <laughs> Got to tear down your heroes and find the hero within. Anyone can be a hero. Yeah. What was he? I think he's a red panda. What kind of animal is that? What is the name of the Kung Fu Master? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what kind of animal? My my phone is so messed up. You ever get 10 minutes into filming a reaction? Audience and go, man, I'm starving. <laughs> oh, my. And then the movie's about food? <laughs> yeah. the movie's about the power like, of food? This whole time, I was struggling. I was like, 10 minutes into this movie, I was like, oh, man, I am so hungry. <laughs> I um, about the beat where he said he dreamed of food, I was like, I am actively dreaming of food. <laughs> And I, I love that, too, of how food is his coping mechanism. And, and he imagines it. I love yeah. the visual. And they didn't overdo that. I was afraid once we saw it once, they'd do it like 10 times. Like he'd become <laughs> food and then there'd be like all these food. Like they did it once to give us the visualization. It is a red panda. Yes. 
Oh, no. and that's beautiful because yeah. red pandas aren't actually related to pandas. So oh, I okay. like that it's a red panda as his master, as a father figure, even though it's a separate oh, entity. Nice. And he's a panda, red panda. Nicely done. Like that, like that a lot. Interscope, you know, P. Diddy and, uh, no, that, that's uh, Bad Boy Records. Who's Interscope now? I don't know. I think Dre? Anyway, good for them. Great yeah, music. All the great rap music in this. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that post credit scene? Edited on Avid. Nice. Ah, and HP they gave credit to as well, which I've never seen. Hewlett Packard gets some love. Lucas work? This one, Lucas? Yeah, so. What a great transition. Set up the sequel. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely gonna eat. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm like, okay, dumplings. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Oh, I love that. Beautiful. Oh, I'm glad it wasn't more. I actually really like that it's a fucking metaphorical beauty of the end instead of being like a joke. They should have set up for they the shared. villain. Well, Thanos is obviously the post post credit scene where yeah. the, the snow leopard turns around and smiles at us because yeah. he's collecting all the infinity, uh, you know, dumplings. Or they should make it a snail. Ooh. I hope this is the villain is a snail. I hope it's a turtle and there's a hair in the next one because of all those, <laughs> of all those animals. Uh, so I love the metaphors of this. What what did you, uh, what was your biggest, well, I mean, you, you judged me and said I needed to get something out of this. I clearly was missing because uh, it's about me, apparently. <laughs> and I didn't get it either time you said it. <laughs> Which just made the joke land so That's much That's what I'm better. saying. I was vexed throughout. I spent like 70% of that movie judging myself going like, what am I not understanding? I feel like the I feel like him in the first act. <laughs> I was just messing around, but it made it so funny. <laughs> I was like, "What am I not seeing so I in just, my Jedi mask?" Then I could just be like, "It's pride, blind, and coy, man." I'm like, "Pride of what?" <laughs> it's just totally messing with your mindset. It you're, worked. Yeah, you're you're worthy, man. You gotta just, uh, just gotta, I gotta chill. You know, you know you're good enough, dude. I gotta just be more joyous in my. I mean, I love how he eased into it with a relaxation as well. I think there's a sense of of overthinking that the movie does uh, talk about quite a bit. Yeah, you know, especially that thing in the beginning. I forget what was the water ripple. I've never heard that before. Oh, you've never heard that? That's one that? of my favorite meditation concepts. What so, uh, a still water is the only way you can see your reflection, and the more you overthink, the more the ripples in the water there are. So That's when you awesome. look at still water, it allows you to be truth to the visuals. So like if yeah. a couple ripples, you can still discern it. But when you're upset and anxious, it's all ripples. Yeah. So okay. like rain metaphor, throwing a rock metaphor. There's a lot of really cool... It helps my brain like cleanse, you know. Take some medication. I think that's. I mean, that's the trick. Yeah, you hard throw to Adderall find some still in the water. water. I gotta fill that's up my bathtub. Uh, I don't want to I mean, do come that. On, that no. sounds like a lot of work. Gotta go to a river. No, I'm just go to no. the doctor. Take a lot of pills. And just take put, some peroxide. Then take a bath. <laughs> yeah, take a bath in the water. On, <laughs> no, I, I love the stillness. I also love the spontaneity of like the split. Like that was a really cool moment where it was like great he, reveal. He yeah. let himself. Such a good reveal. Fantastic reveal. Yeah. Uh, I I, th I thought like how he got into it in a in a relaxed way and how they kept his fighting style with that kind of drunken master fighting was great. Because like the kind of kung fu movies I grew up and I've kind of mentioned a, a few times on this channel, there was okay. So the era when Jackie Chan blew up in the '90s, um, there was also they weren't they hadn't made it to the states yet, but he was actually the director of the movie Mr. Nice. Have you seen Mr. Nice Guy with Jackie mm -hmm. Chan? Okay, uh, have you seen the Ip Man movies? Yes. You have. Okay. In the second movie, the big guy who he's, I don't know if you remember, is like the the, the, the really overweight guy who's like a kung fu master. If you I don't maybe remember. have not seen the Ip Man movies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm realizing in real time. <laughs> you just described something very clear. You were, look, like, you were looking at me so bewildered. I'm like, I, was I, like, I have no yeah. idea. <laughs> Um, I think I've just seen the poster a lot of okay. times. Like I've seen that. When I okay, so Jackie Chan, he like he had his, some of his move. So he came over here in the '90s, and by came over here, like he had a, a, some of his films like Rumble in the Bronx, which was dubbed. He was having his movies come over dubbed before he came out with Rush Hour, which was American made. And my brother and I, we became pretty obsessed with like Jackie Chan movies that were actually in Hong Kong. Mm. So movies like uh, Wheels on Meals, Fearless Hyena, things that a lot of people hadn't seen out here but they were like hard vhs's you had to find yeah. and, and so i would watch a lot of those and that's more what this was reminding me of so i grew up on that and there was like the umb out films and the sammo hung movies and they grew up together and sammo hung has done a lot of stuff in america so far but basically um yeah those were the kind of like hong kong influences and then there's like the hong kong fantasy kind of action films and i've seen like a few of those uh, but those weren't really the thing. I, I was more like, what's the things that are, feel more realistic? Yeah. You know, because there's like that Hong Kong fantasy, like like a crouching tiger is a Hong Kong action fantasy. Um, 
And this, I thought, was a great melding of amalgamation of all those films, uh, especially when it came to like the way how he fought like a relaxed warrior of that is someone who's coming. That, what I thought was impressive about what they did with Poe was how he did his fighting style reflected not a stern type of disciplinary warrior. It reflected him as a character, as a person. And I thought they really fleshed out who the characters are oh, really through their cool. physicalities as well. You know what I mean? That's what I meant by the, the voice acting, masking, matching yeah. the physicality, matching the animal. Like, that's three layers that I think immediately puts you in the world faster than a lot of animation. Because mm -hmm. you're immediately like, oh, this voice is familiar, even though I can't place it. And it fits for the animal, which is a weird thing to think. But I'm like, that's yeah. that animal's voice. Yeah, he had a carefree fighting style. And yeah. if anything, he kind of like moved. That, that whole thing about talking like mole water, there is a version of this where it's like, Oh, he kind of moves like water, and sometimes it's an allegory or a metaphor for how they describe certain type of fighting styles. Mm -hmm. Like you got to be fluid, like water, and there is a certain type Use of fluidity. Inertia. Yeah, and I thought that was amazing of of how they did that because he's fighting against the snow. Is it a snow leopard? I think it's a snow leopard. <laughs> yeah. a snow leopard. Who 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 they they are very just you know because because what I was saying about how it feels like there's an improvisation to the fight. Mm -hmm. I there that's something that I think is under recognized in fight scenes is how. There is, it's, chore, it's choreographed, obviously. It's choreography, but the whole point of like a great fight is to not make it look like it's so rehearsed. Right. And they managed to do that here with the animation is where- Which is you, very hard because it's, it's hundreds of hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they managed to make it feel like they're they're improvising throughout. And, and a lot of times that does come into like when the snow leopard gets hit by the fire and dives into it and picks up the fire yeah. and starts using it, you know? I thought that was great. And so I to me, this captured like the essence of great fight scenes with- Beautiful imagery. We, uh, my family grew up with it was a, it was a three. Sylvester Stallone, Arnold no, Schwarzenegger, I mean, obviously. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah. yeah, like who did, who, what age are we? Yeah. Uh, the, we had a VHS that we recorded three movies off of, uh, like HBO or something, and it was uh, Rumble in the Bronx, Legend of the Drunken Master, and then something Cop, either Super Cop, Super Cop, or, Super Cop. Yeah. So those were our three big Jackie Chan's growing up, mm -hmm. and then as he got to America, like we, I discovered more, but I remember like watching those three on yeah. loop, and then uh, next was Jet Li, and then Tony Jaa. Mm -hmm. And I remember specifically Jackie Chan was fun, and then Jet Li was like stiff, but like really precise lines yeah. of quippy, and then Tony Jaa was just brutal. Uh, so it was interesting, like to see the the uh, popularity of kung fu or martial arts change through those yeah. artists. And I feel and like this felt like the Jackie Chan. This felt way more like Jackie Chan because of the fact of how it's like Poe is. There's there's a comedy. He's not perfect. He's getting hit all the time. Yeah, and which then, is Jackie Chan. And the way he uses items around him is very Jackie Chan. Um, yeah, the the comedy leniency into his fighting style felt very Jackie. Like there is, because like there's Leg Drunken Master came out here, but a lot of people don't realize that's that's actually a sequel. Oh, um, that came out here, and and I love that one, uh, the sequel that came out here. And the first one he did was the was like I think I want to say like twenty years prior, um, and that was the film that made Jackie Chan super famous in. Hong Kong was the first one he did, and that's where he is being trained to become a drunken fighter. Cool. Uh, a drunken boxer. I like boxer, that the spiritual boxer. sequel made it here. That's yeah. like a fun. And the, se that, that, the actual sequel then got dubbed and brought over to the States. Cool. Yeah. That's the one that you're talking about, the one where the guy where he fights at the end with the, the, yeah. kicks, the kicks, right? Yeah, yeah. And like the yeah. that's all flow. Yeah. And so this one reminded me of that first drunken master movie cool. a lot. And then there's the, the thing with the, that, I mean, that's kind of like a common kung fu thing when they're fighting with the food yeah but yeah there, the, uh, there was in a couple of like jackie chan i like that even a couple of the moves were exactly the moves earlier like there was a couple frames where they changed the camera angle so you could see that he was mirroring the moves that he, that yeah. he fought against earlier really enjoyed that master learner master absorber yeah i dug i well hopefully you guys like this we want to watch the second one i don't i feel like they could have utilized i hope in the sequel they use the cast more because yeah, I, i'm really curious I, like, like do like, they what, stay what? because like jackie chan was just chilling and, and he's around jackie chan had like five like eight lines and like, a lot of them were single words <laughs> i know like right? i was yeah. like he, what's he what's going on and does he, he like not like to be on a sound booth because he's got action to do it even like using angelina jolie and seth rogan like all these famous people yeah seems so unnecessary you guys come in uh thursday friday that's enough that's it just check in like they really use jackie chan um ian mcshane and then and uh dustin Hoffman. i now remember one of my favorite press images of all time is angelina jolie was pregnant and and jack black was pushing out his gut and they both have the same size oh, belly, really? and it's in front of all the uh the panda stuff oh, so okay, it's, yeah, it's yeah. the panda belly jack black belly angelina jolie belly and i completely <laughs> forgot that image it's so good but i hope because they went on tour on the world that they're in the next one more i hope they use them more because yeah they didn't see like david cross was kind of used in the david cross they each link. got a little section but each section was shorter like i feel like they all got their shining moment but like 
moment. I mean, it makes for good trailers, right? Like when you slap and for billing. Sp- yeah, exactly. It's a poster. Exactly, it is a poster. That's what I meant for like trailers. Yeah, and, and ab- good billing ab- for marketing. Kevin Bacon because now we're all closer because they were all together in the movie <laughs> yeah. for one scene. I mean, I do want to watch the next one. Uh, I got a lot out of that. I it, it's tricky because the legend was so big. Like I've heard about that movie for years, mm-hmm. and I was really worried that I was like, ooh, because How to Train Your Dragon is right. one of the few anime movies that, like, to me is timeless and perfect. And I'd put this like as something I'd love to show my kids as well as adults. Like this is one of those that really lands for all ages yeah. and, and demographic. I mean, not to mention too, that it also, I mean, I, I've seen a pretty good amount of anime at this point in my life now. And so I think about a lot of those and then, uh, there's even like Avatar: The Last Airbender reference. There's a lot of like this. This is just like influence bonanza. This movie, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and and a way that manages to not feel over convoluted. And in fact, I wish it was kind of longer so yeah. we could f- see some of the carrot, the other characters, and watch how those dynamics were. But they keep it at the heart and center of Sifu. Is that is was that just what he's called? Who? Which one? Ma- the master? master Shifu. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, Shifu. 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 Yeah. Um, Master Shifu, but keep it at the heart and center of Shifu. And unlike how you point out in the reaction when they they flip in the dynamics of like, I need you to stay so I can train you. I you love that. that. That way, smart. and that was all through dialogue. I really like that. You know, in every movie there has to be the conflict switch where you have the unlikable uh, trainer or master. He has to find a reason to want, and usually it's like more cliche. Like there's usually something that's like obligatory that it's like, well, he's not really forgiving him. But this was just dialogue where they were both fighting for the same thing from opposite directions in a really yeah. wonderful way. I like that. All right. What would you give it out of a percentage? That's how I rate it. Out of things. any percentage. I, out of 100%. <laughs> what would you give? This, uh, this is how I like to rate things, Coy. I'm going to go 88%. 88 to 91. You know what? I was going to say... I was going to say 89. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 88 to 91. Somewhere in there. But like yeah. definitely in the, in the near 90. Yeah, I think it's like a perfect family film. Now let's yeah. compare our rating to Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, there's a fourth one coming out. Oh, shit, in 2024? We're not too Oh, there's late. a poster and everything. We can join. Oh, it's in March. That's soon. That's less March than a year. March 2024. Oh, my God. Ten and a half months. We should have waited. I, but, but now we can watch all of them before. Now we can do it. Oh, damn. These all got good ratings. Holy crap. <laughs> hey, we were on the money, though. Look at that. Even Kung Fu Panda 2 is at 81%. That is rare okay. for a sequel. 87%. 87. Yeah. We were running the money there. Higher than the audience score. I mean, it's 250,000 people. Holy a rating. crap. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like a... Versus the 191. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a pretty solid consensus. Wow. 250,000 people. Uh, it's 2008. So this movie is, uh, what, 17 years oh, old? it's old. I feel like I've seen some of it. I'm going to be really honest with you guys. It's a kid's movie, so I want to be a little bit careful here. And I've mentioned this in some other videos. From around, I want to say 2008 to 2012. No, I go a little higher. 2008 (laughs) to like 2016. I had a lot of, I was primarily functioning morning, noon, and night. Off a lot of flowers. (laughs) You know what I mean? So you had a different experience. Because there, so, there were some parts where it was like I had to question, like, had I seen this? <laughs> but this is familiar. But, but I didn't. That, that, that see happens it. with me quite a quite a lot. Where I'm like, I don't know if I've seen this or have, have I've just seen imagery. So uh, I was working at a movie theater until 2008, 2009, and I was worried I'd seen it because I was working at a theater when this came out. But I think it was on my way out, so I don't, I didn't catch it. Yeah. But I was a little worried because I, I might have seen like a minute or two, like checking on someone, but like, yeah, had not seen this one. Like, I, I watched Tucker and Dale versus Evil with Roxy, and I was like, I know I saw this, <laughs> but I don't remember anything. So that it's a first I, watch. I was just like, totally. Uh, yeah, there is a period where I don't, I can honestly tell you, like, sometimes I watch, rewatch a movie on my own time because I because of that experience of not, there's a reason I don't remember a lot. What a gift. <laughs> first watch part two. And then I was like, yep, nope. Taking none, it back. None of this familiar to me whatsoever. <laughs> like, this is like a brand new experience. And, and that's that, nice. And that's what was happening here when I was watching it, too. I was like, I, don't, I honestly don't know if I've put this on before. <laughs> well, I want to watch the next one. So Yeah, uh, let's do it. I for sure definitely, ha- I, don't, I can't, I, I've... I, I don't think I've even glimpsed at all what, what happens in the next 2011, one. I guess. So, yeah, definitely was. I have not seen the next one. And 81% is pretty pretty reassuring for a sequel. Yeah. All right, sweet. All, all right. right, guys. Thanks for being here. Coy, thank you, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you all soon. Thank you to the sponsor of this video. You know that sponsor. That one? That <laughs> one there? <laughs>